Hello, friends, and welcome back to another episode of Battletech Rogue Tech. Oh, I was recommended a challenge the other day on one of the videos. Considering that we're running with lambs, but the difficulty of procuring them, that we limit ourselves to jump mechs. And I thought that might be a good idea. So, we're going to head into the mech bay. I got everything set up, and we're going to refit the trebuchet into a jumpy mech. We also have some other things that we can drop in here to make it a little bit better. Now, the SRMs were not kicking it, so we're going to drop those. We're going to drop the plasma cannons, we're going to drop the flamers... We are going to keep the AMS, though, because AMS good. And we're also going to drop the Beagle Probe, because we did indeed pick up something nice. And that was Clan Active Probe. Now, we don't need the double heat sink here. And what we are going to do is we are going to slap on three medium lasers, two LRM-10s, and then we're going to go a one ton of dead fire, and two tons of regular LRM ammo, and then we need ye old jumpy jets, now, we can't use the lamb turbine because a lamb only. So, we are all set now. Our heat efficiency is good. We have a little bit more long range with the LRMs. And what else was there? Oh, yes, uh, the fire control. We have this fire control flak. Now, what's interesting with this is it provides two evasion pips ignored. So, all those nasty flying, jumping, high evasion things, it's going to make it a lot easier for us to hit that. Now, we do get one gunnery from the clan fire control, but we don't actually get any of the really good stuff. We do get it from the advanced optics, so we get the thermal vision, the night vision... The extra zoom. So we're going to go with the flak fire control system for that sweet, sweet evasion ignore. And we also have piloting A and tactics B. And we'll slap both of those in there. That's going to help us out. And our heat efficiency is quite good. Now we're at 43 of 60 with 15 jump heat, so that even if we jump around, we're still under our heat sinking capacity, so we can fire everything, jump around, do what we need to do. Now, if we're in a hot environment, that could change. But uh, this whole th rebuild costs us nine days, but only 20,000. So it's pretty much just time. Now, let's take a look at the storage. Uh, it's just the Urban Mac. Okay. I want to remind myself because it's been a while since uh, my last recording session. So this is going to take us right through the financial report, but what we do have hey boss, nice is engineering upgrades. Now let's see, we can do an upgraded lounge, which is two morale, one tech point, but we are looking for beta pod here. Costs us 800,000, gives us more mech warriors, more morale. Also allows us to get training module number two which is what we're missing here which is cheap and gets us more experience for our idle mech warriors definitely what we like to see so let's get the trebuchet ready financial report incoming right now everybody's ready to go so as soon as we can get our treb back on the field we're going to get ourselves a brand new mission here we go. 
Now let's take a look at the command center. I'm looking for a nice one skull, and we have ourselves a battle in the jungle here. And it looks like we can take all the salvage. And that will bring our second wasp back. And it won't be Tank Girl, but it will be Wraith, who uh, you were a wasp pilot, right? Uh, hello? Yeah, you were a wasp pilot. So everybody where they belong? Oddball getting himself the trebuchet. Now he is veteran in the Wasp, but I plan on leaving that those behind as soon as we can get ourselves something better. Let's get into it and let's get going. I do like the difficulty factor of using the jump jets. It gives us little twist on what we normally do. Normally, one of the first things I do is I pull out all the jump jets because, you know, see, five, five, just in lights and mediums, five jump jets cost you two and a half tons. Once you get into assault mech territory, you're looking at two tons per jump jet. So if you can put five in there, that's ten tons off of what you can even put in. Mechanical jump jets, little different animal. Um... I believe the highest tier is 10% of chassis tonnage. So it would give you the same thing, but the downside of mechanicals is that you have no rotational factor. All right, so our boys are straight over there. And it looks like we do have the option to drop over here on this side. We can also drop kind of down here. I think I want to get over here. And we'll just get right in the forest. Forest is a good place to be. Love that cover. All right. the sooner we, get this mission done, no, we do not see them. And we do have land mode already on the Wasp, which is going to allow us to get directly across here. One hundred percent, we want to stay in land mode. And we have contact. Our first catch of the day. Now we are running four lambs, so I'm not too concerned about jumping way out in head. Or way out ahead, rather. And we can use our jump jets to get a good amount of mobility as well. Just, that decided to go just a little wonky right there. How beautiful it is out here. All right, we'll probably once we get into range, we're going to be looking to jump right up on top there. So we see a panther. Ooh, big hits. That's the alag. We see nothing there. We got a spider 5k, a wasp 1k. And a mongoose. Order. We've got a lot of evasion and cover on our front liners, so we're going to reserve this for now. Let these guys move around, see what they want to do. I think I saw machine guns on this guy. Uh, machine guns, medium laser. Yeah, two ballistic and a laser Sh should be machine guns, medium laser. I'm your spaniel. This does allow us to get into the back here. Oh, 
Then we can move for five, have really good hit chance against the old Panther. Let's push in. Instead of sitting around to get done, oh boy, that is a beautiful hit chance. Nice internals, two heat sinks down. That's going to make him a little bit unhappy. The Mongoose. All right, Wraith. Follow up here on the Panther. Uh, Lamb, Hardpoint. Yes, please. Missed that. That goes way the heck far and gone. I don't even know where you were shooting with that. That just machine guns on the wasp. Right here. We can move for four here, have a really good follow up. I think we'll take this. Four is good enough. And there goes your arm, there goes your PPC, and nothing left but the old... Uh, yeah, let's go five here. Uh, no hard point. This is... Oh, this is fast cam. Yeah, we don't need it. Actually... We're going to leave the fast cam on, just in case we don't take him out. We leave the mines on the floor, and that'll keep him from moving around too much. And we have pretty much a no hit chance here. Dead fire is not an option. Hey, Chris can happen though. Not bad. Probably is the armor. His panic is uh, helpful. And the extra crits on his legs, stripping down that damage. Here comes the mongoose. Now he's something we definitely want to think about working with the mines. Get in the back of the wasp and just completely abuse him. Hey, buddy! There we go. I don't think he liked that. That's the spider. I don't like our movement here. I guess we move for four. That's uh, not so good the hit chance. Yeah, that's really good. That's actually really bad. All right, let's cruise around this way and we will take the panther from the other side. Oh, we got the rear action there, and he gets to move around and do a little bit of something. Hits his buddy. I mean, I'm okay with that. Uh, you've got Inferno Bombs.
Yeah, I want to stay a little bit back here. And we're just going to drop some uh, fun over here. Mr. Spider, what do you mean to do? He means to take advantage of his agile quirk. Quick shoot and move. Well, relatively quick shoot and move. I'm receiving you. Do we want to focus the spider or the mongoose here? I think we're going to go for the mongoose here. There we go. Mines abound. Oh, yeah, man. Sweat, you know. uh, I saw a line of. There's a line of sight. A Not much of one. Getting straight in on the wasp. The same thing on the spider. Right, looks like it's the mongoose here. It did some damage. We can take that. All right, turn 11, uh, Mr. Wasp. Nothing. You got nothing. Standing by. What are we using here? This was the Infernos, right? Yeah. That's the one I like. Here we go. Here it comes. Goodbye. Now, how much of the minefield did we take out? I'm out of FRM. Eh, heavy fire. Not too much. Not too much. Uh, here, move for six. Beautiful hit chance. And away we go. That did not help. Uh, um, my dude over there tried to DFA my wasp from the air. My dude, I respect your um, attempt. But I'm going to have to punish you for this. No LRM. Locked and loaded. Here it comes. There you go, buddy. Nice head hit. He's well and truly hurt. Mongoose, through the mines. Ooh, large laser. I see you, buddy. Well, later, because we're dead. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Tanks are faster than any other tanks in the theater of operations. Forwards or backwards. I like dead fire here. Say hey, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Goose on the ground. Let's go. Oh, Mr. Wasp. Going to do waspy things. Going for that melee. Hitting. Not that much stability damage, though. Perfectly fine. Now, this I expect to be a kill. I would have expected to hit more of that.
Now, um, hello? There we go! Let's see, a move for four. No hit chance there, no hit chance there. A little bit better. Still not so good. Why? Why? Oh, well, there you go. There's your hit chance. Mongoose, what do you have? Do you have anything interesting that we see? No, we don't. We don't see anything. So let's go for the leg here. That's really good. Any way we look at it, we should have all kinds of beatdown going on. We should be able to finish this this round. Very nice. Engine destruction. And this should be that. Or not. Or yes. <laughs> Whatever works, right folks? I am very happy that we had so many of them eject because that leaves center torso things like specialty items, engine cores, engine shielding. Could be some good value there. Also, specialty items. Always looking for those. So, Panther, Chunks, we're not looking for any of those. We got a large laser, armor, cores, core 240. Heat sinks, jumpies. Wow, a whole lot of garbage. Well, it looks like we'll take the 240. Those are 600,000. That's a three stack for not much. That's the thing about a large laser. It's 40 damage for 24 heat and five tons. When you can get a medium X pulse for 45 damage, increased accuracy and 21 heat. It looks like the value is in the cores. And we had standard fusion engines for 800,000. Actually, these are better than those two cores. So we'll just grab those. And it looks like a money grab since the salvage here is total garbo. All right. We get uh, part of the mongoose, the panther, three spider. Oh, we get a full spider. Wasp, SRM4. You know, still, we get the cores. Fire control can go. All that can go. The structure, goodbye. SRM ammo. Hey, we've got enough to cover the financial report. We've got enough to cover some up, uh, Argo upgrades. And we've got plenty of time left in the in this financial cycle. I think we could go after some of these one and a halfs. I think we are good for that. The one thing that, you know, why I'm hesitant about it is because the way the lambs are set up, they are not just fragile, but they don't have the same kind of uh, firepower that you can cram into them that you do with standard mechs. We're going to go with training module number two here. And I do believe there was, was there a pilot in the hiring hall that we were looking at? I think it was Yukiona. It was indeed Yukiona. We're going to hire her. Uh, Mockingbird, no. Majestic, no. And Ivan also no. I do like to hire um, Tex and XCOMSTAR because you get the bonus to your tech points for that. 
and that helps you salvaging mechs. All right, we are only waiting for fatigue here, which unfortunately is kind of wasting time. I hate doing it, but we've got to. So let's hit the command center. And uh, we've got a, let's see, one and a half skull battle. I hate these. Uh, bring a mech warrior and usher in all of that. Recovery could be good. Defend base, no thanks. Destroy base. Destroy base. There we go. I like this. I like this. What do you got for me? Warthog. Looks good. Our tonnage is good. Let's get in there. Test drives are one of my favorites, especially the uh, the VTOL test pilot uh, test drives. Love these. So we've got ourselves a Warthog. Uh, AA5, I think it was. Maybe it has a Rack 5? Hmm? 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 I'll take that. Yeah. Nice quick one skull. I think we can do this. And it's a nice lack of risk for... You know, we get to leave one of the Wasps behind, so we're not risking a... You know, a fragile asset, which is good. Unfortunately, we lose out on MechWarrior XP. So it's a little give, little take, and we do the best that we can. All right, let's get into it. Here we go. All right, straight battle their way up there. Okay, how far up can we get? Um, I think we have... I think we have two forces here. All right, so we've got a Martin, a Sprint, a couple of light helicopters, some kind of, looks like a carrier of some kind. Yeah, reinforcements. That's what we expected. Looks like a hover tank. And that's a panther for sure. Alright, so we need lamb mode. Thank you very much. I think the million dollar question is do we have hit chances here? Uh, yes, actually we do, and it's pretty good. So let's go for Mr. Vital. Firing. Solid. And now the sprint. Since we're waiting on a helicopter, it's you know now it's time for the coffee. All right. Go on, get down into your hole. I feel like we should have better hit chances here. Yeah, that would do it. That's a Pegasus. Martin, we've already taken some damage into... Let's go for the sprint. Little something, not a lot of anything. Anything. 
solid miss right there. Ready for order. Uh, we need mech mode. We need racks. Go here. It's a 37% chance against the Pegasus on the racks. I do like that. Oh, it's even better. Let's go. Goodbye. Pegasus doesn't even get a chance to go. Let's see. ATGMs, light ER PPC, heavy rack five. Yeah, um, can I has please? Please? I like. Please. I am the wind. Uh, eh, eh, eh. A lot of eh. Let's go for the sprint here. There he goes. And once more unto the sky, my friends. Uh, can you stop calculating, please? Thank you. And now you can do laser things against the Martin. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. There we go. Cruising right along. We're actually going to be out of combat fairly soon here, because we are not seeing the second lance. Ah, it's another ALAG. The PBC SRM. Yeah. What can I do you for? Uh, it looks like an SRM-4. Let's get right in his back. Goodbye. Well, that was effective. Oh, hello. LRM Scimitar, we see. J. Edgar with Flamers. Do we get direct line of sight at any point? No, but we can get some line of sight. Streaks, doesn't matter the hit chance. It's always worth a shot. It's never wasted ammo. Either you get the hit chance or you don't. And if you don't get the hit chance, you don't fire. Now this, on the other hand, <laughs> that we don't shoot. Oh, I like this. I like this quite a bit. Uh, light, ooh, light MML carrier. That's actually something to keep in mind for down the roads when we're picking salvage. Uh, no dead fire here, thank you. Tanks are faster than any other tanks in the of uh, so we got a 16 against the scimitar and a whole lot of nothing there. Yeah, we've got plenty of ammo. We can absolutely start throwing something around here. Swarm, I see you, buddy. All right, so there's a laser on that uh, that flamer J Edgar, and he's rocking that ace pilot. I see you, buddy. Now the question is: Is this a four vehicle? Uh, if we go jet boost, is that a big help? Ooh. 
Okay. Um. Yeah, we're going to go for the MML carrier because the other guy is almost oh, yeah. dead. No sweat, you know. And I just don't see spending the ammo with anybody but our boy here. Goodbye. And we didn't even need the missiles or anything else. Bring the racks. Call it a day. And yeah, it looks like it's just these three. Hey, buddy. And we can and do get line of sight here. Not much of a hit chance, but... We are burning some lasers in there. Ooh. Bring that tag. You naughty boy. Turn 7 is the scimitar. And I think we should be able to wrap this up pretty quickly. Spiff. Very good hit chance against the MML carrier here. Not so good against the Scimitar, so let's take it up here and bring the pain. <laughs> Goodbye. There we go, right in the sweet spot. Say hello to my little friend. No! I thought we were going to get that. Absolutely thought we were going to be able to get a kill on that. I mean, just about anything on that side takes him out. And there we go. Nice, easy dub. All right, yep. Darius, for once you got it right. That was indeed a milk run. All right, let's see what we get for salvage. I'm actually thinking about vehicles here. Uh, that MML carrier, very interesting. If we do have some carriers in storage, we might be able to build it and start bringing some vehicles to the table. Oh, it's an ultralight carrier. Mm. So C3 Pegasus, so it's two medium pulses and two SRM4 streaks. I do like that idea better. Uh, Scimitar brings LRM-15 to SRM-2 is not all that great. We do have the MML-10s on board. These are 3 times 4 slots. Allows us LRM and SRM ammo. You know what? We're going to grab these. Those are going to be headed directly for the trebuchet. That is a big upgrade there. We see Pharaoh, uh, remote sensors, no thanks, structure, ammo, SRM tandem, yes please, SRM LK, do we have it? Tandem I don't think we have. Oh, we do have one. We don't have LK. This improved swarm. 
more damage for the swarm. Not bad. All right, we're gonna take. We're gonna leave the tandem. And we're gonna take the LK. Hundred shots, and then we will take. I think one Pegasus part. Yeah, we're gonna take one Pegasus part. So we get J Edgar Ultralight Panther. We get two Pegasus a Scimitar. Two helicopters, LR-15, the MMLs, Beagle Probe, nice to have. Core 100 can go, Fire Control, Pharaoh. Nice, we have one. We'll sell that one. And we get the Streak, the LK, and two regular. So unfortunately, we don't get the Tandem. Would have loved to pick up the extra. But all in all, looks good. And I believe we're going to be slapping MMLs onto our... Um, onto our trebuchet. Give, gives us a nice mix of ammo choices. Um, I will probably drop the dead fire because when we're in dead fire range, we're going to be in SRM range. Which is going to be good. We may need to add heat sinks. That's definitely something we have to keep in mind. MMLs, more heat when you're firing in SRM mode. So since we have the trebuchet undamaged, nice, show me the MMLs. All right, LRM-10, LRM-10. Those are both five tons each. Boom, boom. So we're going to drop the dead fire, and let's get ourselves some SRM ammo. I like tandem. Now we're going to put it in with the medium lasers. I like, yeah, we're going to put the Inferno over here too. Our heat efficiency is a little on the rough side. Let's see, do we have any more support? Uh, fluid guns? Not really. You know, we're going to take the chaff bolt on because why not? Yeah, this is where our heat efficiency is a little on the light side. Do we have internal heat sinks? No. So it's got to be double here. And we only have one more slot. And another ton. Um, ammo, LRM ammo. Regular dead fire, follow the leader, swarm. We have 12 alpha strikes from the MML here. Do we have ECM? No, just the beagle. searchlight because why not we've got a ton we don't need more ammo our heat efficiency is pretty good we may need to manage it a little bit but what we don't have are the slots for it uh, do we have AMS oh that's what it is it is 100% going to be a ton of AMS ammo that's what we need. 100%. So we've got the extra AMS ammo. Good to have. Eight days. No problem. 10,000. And we're a bit better there. I like it. All right. But I hope everyone enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget the three S's. Smash it, share it, and sub it. Smash that like button. Share it with your friends. Subscribe for more. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified every single time a video goes live, and we will see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody.